Welcome to the Common Man Football Show. My name is James Coburn, and today's episode, we're talking about NFL Draft Bust Analytics, uh, where we look at players that were taken really, really high in the draft. Uh, some people consider them busts. Some pe people consider them be guys who didn't live up to expectations. But we're essentially going to look at these players through the eyes of analytics to see if there is anything on paper that is questionable in terms of the overall data to determine, uh, you know, uh, why they might have failed. Uh, so with all that stuff out of the way, uh, if you're new to the channel and new to the work that I do, all terms and definitions will be in the description. So let's get to Derek Harvey's uh, data. So first off, when you look at Derek Harvey, very similar to Aaron Maben, um, doesn't have bad production data. 68.53 in terms of solo tackle data, 85.25 in terms of sack data, and 86.63 in terms of tackle for loss data. Doesn't quite hit the all pro thresholds at the position, but definitely hits the pro bowl thresholds at the, you know, in terms of the bottom and thresholds at the position. And his only major issue was just solo tackle data not being near the pro bowl average, but still good all around production. The issue that Derek Harvey had was athleticism traits. Only had a 19.72 explosive lower body strength score, 53.83 speed score, and 66.14 flexibility score. Um, did not hit explosion testing indicative of a Pro Bowl edge rusher and did not hit flexibility testing indicative of a Pro Bowl uh, or all pro edge rusher either. Um, so in many ways, Derek Harvey was just not the best athlete. He wasn't an all pro level athlete. He wasn't a Pro Bowl level athlete. And when you look at the average all pro score and average Pro Bowl score, woefully below what those averages are. So in many ways, when it comes to Derek Harvey, the reason why he didn't live up to expectations is because he just wasn't an elite level athlete. You know, he didn't meet the sort of threshold you're looking for at the position in terms of those areas. He definitely was productive and all those other sort of things. But again, I, I am tired of the argument that people make that just because a player plays at a national championship team or is a major contributor on a national championship team, that that means that they're going to go on to the NFL and become this great guy despite not meeting the traits they need to hit in terms of on paper. So Derek Harvey is a big example of why, even though he might have been productive, even though he might have played on a national championship team, if you don't have all the traits necessary from a production standpoint, and especially from an athleticism standpoint at the edge position, it doesn't matter where you play you're not going to translate as well to the NFL level. Um, so again, bottom line is when it comes to Derek Harvey, I think the biggest indicator of why he failed or why he didn't live up to expectations was his athleticism testing and should go to show that just because you play at a championship team doesn't mean that you're going to go on to translate that into greatness at the NFL level. And of course, uh, my name is James Coburn. You can find my other work at draftcoburn.wordpress.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at Gemmetrics. And if you like this content and you want more content like this, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Share this video as well with anybody that you know. Hit that notification button so you're always reminded when another video of mine drops. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.